We're going to continue looking at multiplying out using the distributive law. But today, we're going to deal with a situation where we've got a binomial multiplied with a binomial. Now, what do we mean by binomial? Remember that word, the little prefix bi, that means two. In other words, it's something that has got two terms. So this here is a binomial, right? Because it's got x and three as the terms. It's got two terms. And here's another binomial because it's got two x and four as the terms. So it's a binomial has two terms. So what we're dealing with is a situation where we've got this binomial multiplied with that binomial, right? Remember, when we don't put any operation in between the two brackets here, we mean multiplication. Okay, so remember when we just had, if we just had, if you ignore this x plus, if you just had 3 multiplied by 2x plus 4, your distributive law would tell you you had to do 3 multiplied by 2x and 3 multiplied by 4. Now what we have is this whole bracket has to be multiplied with 2x plus 4 which is going to mean that the 3 needs to be multiplied with the 2x and the 3 needs to be multiplied with the 4, but also that the x needs to be multiplied with 2x and the x needs to be multiplied with the 4. In other words, everything in here needs to be multiplied with everything in there. And in order to make it simpler for us to remember, to multiply each and every one of those things, we have this little saying, FOIL, which tells us we must make sure we multiply the first things in the brackets together. We must multiply the things on the outside together. So this with this, the insides, this with this, and the lasts, this with this, right? So FOIL is just a way that helps us to remember to do each and everything in this bracket multiplied with each and everything in that bracket. Okay, so let's do our FOIL for this. We're going to say x multiplied with x. That's our f, right? And we're going to x multiplied with 2x, and that's going to give me 2x squared. Then we've got to do our outsides. So the outsides are the things right at the outside, right? So there's our outsides. So x multiplied by 4, and we're going to get... 4x. Then we need to do our insides. So that will be this here multiplied with this, the two right on the inside. And what we'll get there is 3 times 2x, which will give us 6x. And then the last thing that we need to do are our lasts. So that will be this 3 here multiplied with the 4, the last terms in each. So 3 times 4 gives me 12. And now I've done my multiplying out, but I always like to simplify if I can. And I see here I have like terms, and so I'm going to have 4x plus 6x gives me 10x. So I'll get 2x squared plus 10x plus 12. Okay, I want you to try this out. So I've got two examples here. Let's see if you can multiply each of those out. Remember, everything in the first bracket needs to multiply with everything in the second bracket. And FOIL is a helpful way to help you remember to do that. Pause the video, try it now, and then we'll go over it. All right, so let's go over this first one. We've got to multiply the firsts, so that's 2y times 3y, that'll give me 6y squared. Then we're going to do the outsides, so that is this times this, so it's 2y times 4, and that'll give me 8y. And then I'm going to do the insides, which is this times this, which is 3 times 3y, which is 9y. And then I have to do the very lasts, which is 3 times 4, which gives me 12. And then I check if there are any like terms, and there are 8y and 9y, so this will be 17y. All right, the next one, um, again, the first, it's b times 3b, so I get 3b squared. Then I do my outsides, and so my outsides is b, and this is, just be very careful with the sign here, minus 4c. So a positive times a negative is a negative, and I get 4bc. And then I do my insides, which is c times 3b, which is 3bc. And then I do my lasts, which is c times, again, negative 4c, so it's going to end up negative 4c squared. 
Again, I look for like terms, and in this case, it's only these ones that are like terms. And so I'm going to get minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1, so it's just minus BC. I don't have to write the 1 in, and I get this. Okay, I've got another two I want you to try. So again, go through these two, multiply out, and if you want to use FOIL to help you remember to multiply everything in the one bracket with everything in the other. Pause the video, do it now, and again we'll go over it. Okay, so first a times a is a squared. Outside, minus 4 times a is minus 4a. Inside, 4 times a is 4a. And then last, minus 4 times 4 is minus 16. Again, we look for like terms, and we see here we've got minus 4a plus 4a, and those cancel out with each other, and you get a squared minus 16. In this next one, the first 3x times 3x, that gives me 9x squared. The outsides, 3x times 2y, and that gives me 3 times 2 is 6, so it'll give me 6xy. Your insides will be this one times this one. It's going to be negative 6xy. And then our lasts is going to be this times this, so it's going to be negative 4y squared. Again, we look for like terms, and it's those two. And what we get is plus 6xy minus 6xy. That, they cancel out with each other, and so we're just going to get minus 4y squared. Now have a look. You've got exactly the same pattern in each of these things here. And it's an important pattern to observe because it's going to be something that we um, note later on. This and this in each of these, they're the same, except you've got a plus in one and a minus in the other. And again here, this and this, the binomials are the same, except a plus in one and a minus in the other. And what happens in both of those cases is that when you go for the outsides and the insides, you get the same thing, but one is a negative and one's a positive. And so when you add them together, you get zero. Same thing here. When you go for the outsides and the insides, you get the same thing, except one's a positive and one's a negative. When you add them together, you get zero. And so, in fact, what you end up with when you multiply these things out is just going to be a squared and then 16, which is 4 squared. And in this case, you're going to get 9x squared, which is just 3x all squared, and then 2y squared, which is 4y squared, right? And it's going to be a minus. So just notice that pattern because it might help you work out some things quicker. So for example, x minus 3, x plus 3. I can go through and do the whole foiling process, but if I've got good at this pattern and I've noticed it, I'm going to see x times x is x squared and 3 times 3 is minus 9. I know that my outsides and my insides will cancel because I'll have plus 3x minus 3x. They get together and make 0. So if I see this pattern where I've got the same bracket, one a negative and one a positive, I know those middle terms are going to come together to get zero and so in fact the only things that'll stay are the firsts and the lasts and that'll make it quicker to do. But you can always do it using FOIL and you'll see that those middle terms add together to get zero. Once you've done it a number of times you'll get used to that pattern and you'll be able to get to the answer more quickly. Okay last three I want you to try for yourself are these ones here. Pause the video and see if you can do them, and then we'll go over them. Okay, so these ones, there's nothing fantastically different about them, except for the fact that it's just written as x plus 2 squared. We know that that means x plus 2 multiplied by itself, x plus 2. So we're back in the same old position, and we can go ahead and we can FOIL. And so x times x, that's the first, x squared, and um, x times 2 plus 2x insides, 2 times x is 2x, and last, 2 times 2, which is 4. And so we get here x squared plus 4x plus 4. Again, this one, this is what it means. So we just FOIL it, a times a, a squared, right? Our outsides, it's going to be minus 3a. Our insides, minus 3a. And then our lasts, negative 3 times negative 3, that's a 
plus 9. And these two middle terms combine to make a minus 6a. And then our last one here, again, nothing special. So we get the firsts, it's going to be 4b squared, our outsides, 2bc, our insides, 2bc, and our lasts, c squared. And then we combine our like terms, and we have our answer. The pattern we can notice here, of course, is that our outsides and our insides are always going to be exactly the same thing. And so basically, our middle term is just going to be two of those. All right. So it just helps to notice those patterns because it'll help you to be a bit quicker when you've got a squared to know that your outsides and your insides are going to be the same. But this foil will work for all of them. Practice it enough and you'll start to get used to the pattern, which will help you to check your work as you go.